Hello everyone, welcome to another Media Composer tutorial. Today I want to show you different ways of displaying your audio waveforms in your timeline and different ways of adjusting your clip gain. All right, I'm gonna start with the waveforms. A really easy way of displaying them for individual tracks is by just turning them on with this button here for each track. You can also go to the fast menu, audio data, and turn on the waveforms for all tracks at once. This is a really good function to map to your keyboard. That way you can just with your shortcut turn on the waveforms for all tracks. This is especially helpful if you have a really long timeline and your playback is not super smooth anymore and you can just turn the waveforms off. Another good way of helping with that is by going into your timeline settings and turning on the show marked waveforms function. That way you will only see the waveforms in marked areas. You can combine that with your shortcut and turn the waveforms on and off only for specific sections. Or let's turn this off really quick again. If you need to see your waveforms constantly on one track, but you want to turn it on and off on the other tracks, you can also enable your waveforms on one specific track and then with the shortcut turn everything else on and off. That way your playback is really smooth and you never have to go into any menus. If you feel like your waveforms are too small or too big, you can change that with the keyboard shortcut, hold down Option, Command and L or K to make them bigger or smaller. Okay, let's take a look at adjusting the audio clip gain. The most obvious tool is the audio mixer. With your mouse you can adjust the clip gain here or type in the number with plus and minus. You can also go to the fast menu, audio data, clip gain. And now you can see you have this little icon on each clip and you can with your mouse adjust the gain right here. Or you can also type in the number. I usually don't use it because if my cursor is right next to it and I want to shuttle through my timeline and I accidentally click on the little button, then it changes the audio gain and I might not even notice. But a really cool thing about having the clip gain turned on is that you can change it with your keyboard by holding down Option Shift and then using the arrow up and down to adjust the clip gain with your keyboard. Okay, thanks so much for watching and see you next time.